Welcome to this overview review of this Gatlin credit spread option system. Now Gatlin is a very powerful system and it's an approach that uh, we're hesitant on releasing but uh, we end up re releasing and uh, it's a really great way to approach trading price action in general and can be super great for credit spreads trading. Now I'm assuming you have understanding of credit spreads. If you don't, you want to check out our Credit Spreads 101 or our uh, Credit Spreads Cash Machine courses and learn about credit spreads and also understand the risks involved in terms of, uh, well, I mean, you're you're still in a spread. So if one side is exercised upon the other, then you can exercise the, uh, the long side, but to offset it. But the only problem happens as your broker will warn you about that uh, if your underlying expires between your spreads and then all of a sudden you have to cough up the dough for the uh, <clears throat> for the assignment. So you want to deal with that. Of course, you can use contingent orders to get your out, yourself out uh, uh, before expiration just as a per, uh, precaution. But uh, overall, those are the mechanics you need to understand. But in terms of credit spreads, there are a lot of opportunities, particularly with risk to reward scenarios, doing, getting better risk rewards. We're not looking to sell uh, credit spreads, or put on credit spreads for the sake of premium dr drain only, as most popular courses uh, and methods have taught in the past. That's probably the worst way to trade a credit spread. And also with inverse or terrible reward to risk ratios, you set yourself in a position to get really smacked and uh, it's not going to be a pretty sight just when one even one of those trades loses so uh, <clears throat> now we look to use some concepts from binary options land here with Gatlin and several other systems as well so what do I mean we're looking to take this uh, at the money although you can use in the money with this as well and get yourself better risk to reward ratios like a one to two to one to three uh, risk to reward as in like three reward to one risk and uh, you can do so with different types of credit spreads now here we have an example I'll show you in a second uh, for with SPY with SPY you have small bid ask spreads of course you're gonna need small bid ask spreads otherwise it's gonna you know eat into your spread uh, particularly if you have smaller uh, sp spreads between the strikes in terms of using a 50 cent strike all right, you don't want uh, you know big giant bid ask spreads that you know pretty much trap you in your position to expiration. So we come here and take a glance at this uh, performance record here, and what we are looking at is a screenshot, and uh, we have here SPY just uh, what's that about six and a half months. Uh, or is that seven months? I think it's yeah, seven months. Okay. Uh, of the wins and losses, 38 wins to nine losses. Taking at the money approach, as you can see here. So we're looking at uh, 48 credit to 52 risk. Okay. This is on a one point spread, actually. And there are 50 cent spreads you can look at. Uh, and the advantage of a 50 cent spread is that what? You have less to. Uh, less price to surpass in your favorite direction because we are swing trading credit spreads. You have less price to surpass to simply expire this uh, out of the money. All right. Now, for those of us in uh, who are also involved in binaries, out of the money, in the money is kind of flip flopped here, isn't it? You know, it is flip flop, not kind of. And so you want to be out of the money to go expire your credit spread uh, to get the full value. In binaries, you want to be in the money to get the profit, right? So here we are swing trading credit spreads. We are using momentum, not just looking to drain the premium. So therefore, you can also, as I previously mentioned, go swing trade uh, the uh, credit spreads that have a better or more in the money profile whereas you can look to 
uh, swing trade for momentum. Because you're riding momentum and not just looking to sit there, uh, we can go a little bit in the money and get these better risk to reward scenarios. All right. And when you're dealing with these smaller spreads between strikes, like a 50 point, a 50 cent spread, then uh, you can get the better deltas without having to go down too far in the chain. And so therefore, you don't need as much price movement. I mean, 50 cents, for example, on SPY price movement is it's like nothing, right? So you can easily surpass that usually, right? And uh, so we're looking here at the breakdown. Here's the breakdown math. This is over at the seven month span. And so, uh, or actually, no, it was calculated. Sorry, this is six and a half months in terms of we took four weeks each month and then the two weeks. And then, uh, and then so we have this weekly paycheck concept because why? Well, it's cool, okay? And we're looking to use short term of an option as we can. So we have these weekly options. So we go to look that. Uh, we, uh, we, go to, we go look to use that. And so 900 on 20 contracts, okay? This is left out. 20 contracts. I'm going to need to put that back in. Look to do that. So this is on 20 contracts here, which, you know, 20 contracts of... Uh, 0.52 risk, so that's going to cost how much? A thousand bucks, right? So this is not necessarily every single week like clockwork. It's a, it's a weekly average paycheck, so probably that wording needs to be corrected too. So uh, so now we move up the chain here to, not the chain, but the uh, we move up to bigger contracts. You can't say chain with options involved here, right? So 50 contracts here, and here's 100 contracts. Okay, the only thing about using the bigger contracts and bigger contracts is one needs to be able to handle any sort of, you know, worst case scenario assignment. So, uh, so this is the this is where we're looking what we're looking at here, weekly paycheck on average, and uh, so that's a, a cool concept. But it's a, it's a great system. I mean. Uh, it's designed for credit spreads, but I mean, you can not use credit spreads. You can uh, use other methods too now, but uh, since this is a credit spread system, I'll, I'll refrain from speaking of the other methods that are common sense. But anyways, uh, so if you're interested in this system, then you can scroll below, click the add to cart button or contact us if you have any more questions. But uh, this is a system, we may pull this system because it's, 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 uh, it's really good. I mean, like really, really good. So if you can get it, uh, if we're still offering it, then um, I would get this one. All right. All right. That's all I'm saying. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. And uh, if you have any questions, let us know. We have other credit spreads methods as well. Come to uh, slingshotoptions.com or optionstradingauthority.com. Check out our other many products to uh, help you in your trading. Thanks.